We're caught in a trap. Can't you see what you're doing to me? You don't believe what I'm saying. Elvis, uh, one night, he says, Bill, why don't you come up and watch me go on stage? And I said, okay. So we went up, and we're standing side of the stage, and the band is playing that 2001 theme song, and the women are screaming and going nuts, and and uh, uh, <laughs> and they started, you know, fixing Elvis's clothes, make sure he's put in his hair. So I backed away, and he was standing there in the shadow a little bit, and he looked over at me, and he winked, and I, and I said, "Oh man," I said, "That isn't Elvis. That's Elvis Presley." Saying. We keep the one together with suspicious minds. And we can't build our dreams on suspicious minds. Um, I think I think both Elvis and I were were very lonely guys. I was a a lonely guy. Had a million friends. Obviously, had Elvis had millions of. Uh, friends and family and but uh, you can be around a lot of people and still be lonely and I felt that about Elvis and I think that was one of the things that we somewhat had in common so if no friend I know stop by to say hello but I still see suspicion in your eyes but here we go again When somebody that big and that important, at least important, well, to thousands, millions and millions of people, uh, it's ju it's just it's you can't believe it. Kind of like when John Kennedy, which like you just. It doesn't make sense. You can't wrap your brain around it. And then you start to realize, you know, that, yeah, Elvis is gone. And it's, for me, it was just amazingly sad. We can't go on together with suspicions. We can't build our dreams on suspicious minds.